first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahavashai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahavashai, who we reverence and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teach us truth well. And that continue to teach us truthful and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few brothers and sisters listening and learning. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. That's what Yahabashai directly said to the wicked of our people that were what? The money changers, which so happened to be the Pharisees. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. You've got men that just push this truth just to make money. The scriptures tell you there's a law where you're supposed to what, pay your 10%. 10 of types but you have individuals that are just in this for money women and fame and the Lord's going weed them out it's only a certain amount of time okay for gain for worldly gain all right because if money's your motivation to push this words you're not gonna last all right because that same you're not gonna have that same love for the truth you're not gonna have that fear let's go to Matthew 23 all right this is Matthew 23, and we're going to go straight to, where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it? Matthew 23, and we're going to jump straight to 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. So when you look up that word woe, it means destruction, it means calamity. So them same scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, okay, they have woe, destruction coming to them, which they cannot escape. For you make clean the outside of the cup. They have an outward appearance. You would think they can do no wrong. Alright. For you make clean the outside of the cup. And of the platter, the plate. But within. They are full of extortion. And excess. So they have an appearance of a righteous man. But within they are full of extortion and excess. Do you know what that word extortion means? Bribery, all right, black man. And if you're a righteous man, why would you need to extort? <laughs> why would you need to extort? If you're if you're a righteous man, why would you need to extort? Because people that extort, they have something to hide. Just 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 look in this world, this 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 wicked world we're living in. You see it with Esau, his high rankings. People in prominence, why did why did they extort information? Because they're hiding something. All right, they call it blackmail. But guess what? You can't do that to the men of the Lord, especially to the hopeful elect. Okay, you fucking clowns, full of extortion and excess. So that's what they were full of. Okay, the men of the Lord, we don't take bribes. A true man of the Lord, he doesn't take bribes. Okay, because he has nothing to hide. All right, let's go. If a man has to do that, that means he's losing, all right? The Lord sees everything, everything. So let's go straight to... Lord ain't dealing with that, okay? You're using this truth for your own gain. The Lord's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy you, all right? Let's go to John 2 and 16. And he said, Baby, let's go to John 2 and 13. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Yahweh went up to Jerusalem. Mm. All right. And this was what a regular custom. And found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep. So, what they were selling? Okay. Oxen and sheep and dove and changes of the money sitting. All right. So, they, they were trading. Okay. In banking, you can call it banking in somewhat terms. They were trading, exchanging. They were all about the dollar dollar bill, y'all. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, so Yahweh was, he made it up his own little whip with cords, wires. He drove them out of the temple. Okay, because that was a temple. They were they were reverence in that temple as well. Okay, they reverence the temple, but the true temple is what. The body, the men that are pushing this work in some truth, in sincerity. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money. So he was mad. 
Yahabashai was frustrated and overthrew the tables. And them tables were not, not no light tables back then. Proper oak. <laughs> Proper oak. Strong table. So he must have had some he must have been really angry to overturn those tables. And said unto them that sold doves. Alright. Take these things hence. Make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Okay. We, you, brothers, you, you're not supposed to be using the tree for any type of gain. Ah, uh, set up PayPal. You know? Ah, uh, you know, we got 2,000 subscribers. So, if we can uh, set up a PayPal account, if we get, example, if we get 1,000 followers and half of them 1,000 followers pay types, 50 or whatever, we can, we can make a killing out of this. This is what men are doing. Okay? This is what men are doing and Lord's going to destroy you. You understand? Verse 17, and his disciples remember that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. And where was that remembered? Because that was said earlier. In it was Psalms. Psalms 69 and 9. For the zeal of thy house have eaten me up. And the reproaches of them that reproach thee are falling upon me. So the reproach, the reproaches of them that reproach who the hopeful elect fell upon what you have a shine, and that's why he was so weighed down in the spirit because he had to bear what the sins of the nation of Israel also, of his elect, really the whole nation. All right, that's why, and you can have a zeal, you can have a righteous zeal, and you can have a wicked zeal. The scriptures tell you in Romans ten they have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. Okay, every man in every man's intent in these last days. Is being revealed whether you are really about the truth or you're not about the truth. All right. So let's go to what a damn shame. I don't, I don't, I don't want your money. I do this out of sincerity because if you're moved by money alone, you're not going to last. And this is the true money anyway. <laughs> okay. So bear me just a minute. Let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 2. But you, you got men, they don't have the spirit, but guess what? They were hang they were hang about. They were hang about. Why? Because they have money to make. They have a following. And it's really all it's the spirit of the world. And the scriptures talk about there's a law on defrauding as well. You should not defraud your neighbor. You're not supposed to be doing that with the truth. Sooner or later, the Lord's gonna weed these men out. Sooner or later. And that's the thing, that's the beautiful thing. The elder apostles, well, they might see particular things, they might not see particular things, but who has the last say? You have a shy. So eventually everything's going to be brought to light. Let's go to 1 Peter 5 and 2. Bribery. You know, a lot of guys in the street are a piece of shit. You know, you can get up on video all you want and say, um, shalom, shalom. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. If you're against Yahweh, if you're against his men, that shalawam doesn't mean anything. All right. Every man's intent is being shown. Who's about the truth and who ain't? Let's go to First Peter five and two. Feed the flock of the Most High. And the scriptures. One thing I want to say: the scriptures tell you to fear Yahweh. Don't fear man. So again, men can they can have information intel but that doesn't matter because the scriptures tell you to fear man his eyes are what a hundred times brighter than the sun if i'm quoting it right that's who you fear men want you to fear them you fear you have a shy let's go to first peter 5 and 2 feed the flock of the most high which is among you and that's our duty taking the oversight so you're looking out thereof not spying you're looking out <laughs> there's a difference not scheming, because you've got a lot of our mischievous imps that come up on our channel to spy out our liberty. Okay? Working for what Biden? Not by constraint. So you're not supposed to be holding back, but willingly. So we teach this word willingly, with a willing mind. Not for filthy lucre. Filthy lucre is gain, wealth, popularity. Okay? But of a ready mind. And those that are doing it for filthy lucre. They're going to be destroyed. Okay? Neither as being laws over the Most High's heritage. 
Okay? You lording over the most high's heritage just because you got a bit of pool power. You see men that have done that, they and what they're no longer here. But being examples unto the flock. And how are you example? By leading by example. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And that chief shepherd is Yahweh Shai. And we're supposed to be shepherds, but true shepherds. It's not a hireling. A hireling, what does a hireling teach for? For money. Okay? You've got a lot of government agents in this truth, but everything's being revealed. Okay? A crown, and we're going to receive a crown that fadeth not away, Lord willing. Okay? And that's what we're waiting for. I might as well finish off at the, the bottom. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, but the elder's got to be leading by example. That's the ones you sit. You don't just sit, submit yourself to any, any elder, to anybody. If, a, if, if an elder tells you to uh, jump off the cliff, if an elder tells you to take the chip, are you going to take the chip? Use your head. That's why Yahushua has given you discernment. That's why he's given you wisdom, knowledge and understanding. So you can work things out when you get to a certain level. Because men, they become corrupted. They no longer have judgment. They no longer have discernment. And they become corrupted. So that's what is for you to work out. And the reason I'm shouting because Yahushua, he's not uh, Yahushua ain't happy with this. The things that are going on. Yet yeah, all of you be subject to one another. And be clothed with humility. So again, this is another thing I said. A lot of men are mistaken humility for being lukewarm. Oh, I'm humble. That's why I don't want to do videos. I'm humble. You're doing too much. And the same individuals that say you're doing too much, they ain't doing anything. They don't have that same passion. They don't have that same fervency. And they mistake that for humility. Humility comes from what? Humble, being humiliated. A lot of men can't even be humiliated because they want fame of this world. They want to be spoken good of. So you see, you're seeing the contrast of who this really applies and who it don't. But they elect, they're clothed with humility. And if they're not, Yahushua will do something where they are clothed with humility. Especially if you're, if you're of that number. For the Most High resisted the crowd. So if the Most High is resisting the crowd, that means he's not dealing with them. That's, that means they're not going to be able to do with lessons. And that means they're not going to be able to do it efficiently. That means the Holy Spirit is not going to be dealing with them. And another sign of being proud is you not wanting to do the work. That's, that's a sign of what? Defiance. Being proud. I don't have to do it. I don't have to. Well, that's pride. That's pride. There's many levels to pride. But many men, they get threatened by your confidence and they mistake that for um, pride. Don't get the two twisted. There's confidence in your Havashah. I've always said this. And there's pride. Pride is uh, self-conceit. That's what pride is, self-conceit. You've you done it yourself. You don't need any help. That's pride. Everything you've gained in the spirit, you gain it. No, 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 that's pride. And give of grace to the humble. So that's who grace is being shown to. Those that are able to humble themselves and teach this word efficiently and feed the sheep and do what they have to do to be saved and to get out of this wicked kingdom. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.